You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Greetings, Ichi Samantha. My queen. Your Majesty, food is served. What's wrong with you, women? Why is it that when a man has set himself to discuss something, something of import, even Talako, you must come up with this your eating thing. Ah, what is food? I don't want to eat. My husband, all I am saying is that you should try and eat something before you fall sick. No matter how little. Why don't you let me decide on falling sick? Yes, I'm not eating. Why don't you let me finish what I am discussing? Go, I'm not eating. Your Majesty, I think she, she was right. To go and eat. Of course she, she was right. I didn't say she wasn't right. We all have our own rights. She was right. Within her own rights. Yes. To talk about food. I was right within my own rights. To refuse to eat. Ah, we are discussing something important. Your Majesty, the food is important as well. Huh? It is important as well. I don't know what else to do. He has been like this ever since Jane left this house. I don't know what else to do to calm him down. The best solution is to bring Jane back home. But come to think of it, why is Michael trying to tear this family apart? Because obviously he's the cause of all this. I think I have to confront that young man. I forbid you from even thinking about it. You would do no such thing, young man. Mom, don't tell me you're taking sides with him. Tony, I am not taking sides with anyone. Just that I'm not happy that uh, Jane accepted his marriage proposal now. But you know, there's nothing anyone can do about it. Huh? Or do you want to force her to break up with the man she loves? He makes her happy. She's happy with him. And her happiness is paramount to me now. And what happens to that happiness? How long will that happiness last? Do you know what that guy does for a living? What if he cannot take care of her tomorrow? What happens to the happiness? Tony, Michael can well take good care of Jane. Trust me. Oh, Mom, I guess you know Michael pretty well. Mm -hmm. I do know him. I've known him for about three years now. He's a young man with vision. You can call him a roadside mechanic. But trust me, he is good at what he does. <laughs> you should even thank God that he has something to do There's something Jane sees in that young man. I just pray and wish your father would say the same and give them his blessing.
journey. So after avoiding us for three whole weeks, you finally decided to return. Well, that's not bad. So tell me, what changed? Nothing has changed, obviously. She's still putting on the ring. How long do you think you can put up this fight? I am not fighting with anybody. No one at all. You are the one making this seem as if it's a big deal. Bottom line is that I have chosen the man I want to spend the rest of my life with. And there is nothing anyone can do about it. I mean, absolutely nothing. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Dead serious. Well, that's not it. I... I also came here to let you people know that. I have taken it. What? What? I am pregnant. That's a joke, right? Why would I joke with such? Well, if you think I'm lying, you can confirm from the family's doctor. No, Jen, I don't think you're serious. Honestly, Jen, you are incredible. You mean you went ahead and got pregnant and missed all these issues? Jen is crazy. You've completely lost it. You forgot to be a princess in this kingdom? Well, you seem not to know who your father is until he hears this. Well, I've not come here for that, bro. I really haven't come here for that. I've only come here to tell you people the situation of things in my life. Mom, your daughter is very happy where she is. I am so contented with my relationship. Please, you people should not interfere. Allow me to be happy with my man. Please. Nice like that. Yes, Jane, Jane. Like that. See that? What is this? No, what just happened? You are once a loving father. All the love and care you gave me. What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love. Then you turn your back on me. What Jen. What to you think that by getting yourself pregnant, you will weaken my resolve? You think so? Well, you have another thing. That you show me and the love that we share. What happened to you? What happened to you? It's like I'm lost, I don't get it anymore. Someone tell me what's going on. It feels like I am getting drowned. You are once a loving father All the love and care you gave me What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love Then you turn your back on me What happened to you? What happened to you? Papa, what happened to the care that you showed me and the love that we share? What happened to you? Listen attentively. There are two things that must be done immediately. One, terminate my daughter's weekly allowance. Fourth, with. And two, all her company shares are hereby embargoed. In fact, put all of them up for sale immediately. Now stop asking stupid questions. Don't ask questions about what you know nothing about. 
do as you are told. You love me so day will make me come the thing go. Whether this love not true, whether not fake go, whether this love not genuine no, whether not fraud no. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. They tell me Father's love is very. Come on, pick up your call. And they tell me Father's can do anything for the adults. Pick your call. Pick your call. Pick your call. Pick your call. So I can't be Oh yeah. So I can't be Oh yeah. Good morning, sir. Yes, morning, Jane. You're welcome. How are you today? All right, sir. Good. I sent for you because of the disturbing complaint your father made about you. Well, I'm so sorry, sir. I do not want to discuss that right now. Really? Yes. Yes, I, I think there is no need to doubt anymore. I'm not going to ask you who did what and what you did. But you see, I want you to go home and mend fences with your father. Just make peace with him. For he threatened to remove you from the school and also said he will cut you off all financial bills. And that I do not wish for you. Well, my father can go ahead and do whatever he wants. He can cut off all the financial benefits I get from him as a daughter. But he cannot remove me from this school. Because this school is not owned by him. Besides, I haven't done anything to violate the rules and regulations of the school to deserve that. I haven't. Is that what you think? I want to assure you that I know how to handle stubborn kids. And I do not desire you to be one of such children because I do not see you so. It's like you really do not know your father pretty well. For if you do, you won't be saying what you're not. He has every power to stop you from this school because nobody can stop him. And I must remind you, you are your final year. You need concentration. You, need, you do not need all these kind of distractions here and there. This is not the time for that. What I expect you to be able to do now is face your studies, concentrate fully, and see how you come out of school. The surgery department of medicine that you dream of daily needs concentration. And come to think of it, I must also affirm it to you that your father have all it takes to cut you off your studies in school. Be very, very careful. I do not wish that for you. Thank you. You are once a loving father. All the love and care you gave me. What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love Then you turn your back on me What happened to you? What happened to you? Papa, what happened to the care that you showed me? And the love that you shared What happened to you? You okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. You're not fine. You're mm, crying. I'm what, all right. What's wrong? Oh, you're crying. What's wrong? 
My father has cut off every financial benefit I received from him. He even took the car he bought for me on my last year birthday. Now he has instructed the VC to remove me from school and he's ready to grant that wish. You I am financially handicapped. I have nothing with me. I don't know what I've done wrong to my father to deserve this. I don't know. I don't just know. What happened to be with the one love. Then you turn your back on me. What happened to you? What happened to you? Papa, what? Good. Good afternoon, sir. Uh -huh. Alpha. Sir, sir, this nozzle is not good though. The nozzle is not good, honestly. Yeah. The nozzles? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's not a problem now. Bring out all of them and clean them. Get an uh, injector cleaner. Eh? Okay, sir. If we don't have, tell a maker to bring. No problem, sir. Uh -huh. Okay. Sir. How is it going? Sir, this thing is not working. Let me see. My car, I'm going. Huh? This one is bad. I'll take it. It's bad. Tell a maker to bring it. Let him bring this. Uh, New one. Uh, brand new, brand new, brand new. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. Uh -huh, welcome, Carol. Fine, sir. Yeah. Okay. Sir, uh, uh, the landlord came here. He says you, you should vacate this premise. I should vacate this premise? Yes, sir. Look, here are the papers he brought. I'm not a bamba. Quit notice. I cannot give me quick notice. I'm not owing uh, him. I'm not owing him. My rent has not even expired. Um, maybe you should call him and see his reasons. I don't know why that man would do such a thing. I mean, wh why would that man do such a thing? Why? Huh? Since I moved into that property and started working there, we've not had any issues. Never. How can he just wake up one morning and ask me to leave? Something is wrong somewhere. Something is wrong. Something is not just right with what you just said. Are you sure my father is not behind this? Yes. I'm sure he must have bought that building over. Oh, that's not possible. My love, you don't have to doubt me. I know my father and I know what he's capable of doing. He's trying so hard to frustrate me. Huh. I, I'm really sure he's behind this. You are once a loving father. All the love and care you gave me. What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love Then you turn your back on me What happened to you? What happened to you? Papa, what happened to the care that you showed me And the love that we share What happened to you? What happened to you? Daddy, what happens to the care that you show me And the love that we share What happened to you? What happened to you? It's like I'm lost I don't get it anymore Someone tell me what's going on What are you doing here? Answer me! Why are you doing this? What do you intend to achieve with all these things you're doing? Why? What have I done to you, father? What are you talking about? Oh, is it about the money and the car? Why should you still continue to enjoy such privileges from me, knowing that you're no longer my daughter? I am not talking about your car. Neither am I talking about the money. Because I know full well that I can survive without any of your financial assistance. I'm talking about Michael. Why are you dragging him into this? What has he done wrong to you? What? 
Why do you have to chase him away from his shop? Father, I still don't know why you're doing this to me. So you can survive without financial benefits, financial support from me. Is that so? Is that what you came to tell me? All right. Prof. Sugo Chukwu, it's me. I am no longer responsible for Jane's school fees. Yes, my hands are off. Take her out of that school. After all, I was responsible for her coming into the school. I engineered her going into the medical school. So, I want her out. I shall be calling her HOD immediately after this. Oh, don't worry. Thank you very much. As for that idiot you call Michael, he is the reason for your coming to challenge your father now. And he is the reason you're about to destroy your life. That young man took something from me and will not relent until I run him out. Yes. The drums of the war have just begun. And I am ready. Let's see how you're going to finish. Finish your school. Finish your medical school. Look. You had to open your leg. And you got pregnant. And you had to come in here. You had the temerity to announce it right here in this box. Huh? Yes. You fail to understand one thing, Father. What is it? You are not my God. You are not God and you cannot decide our faith. You can't. You can do anything you so please. But you cannot determine my future. Michael hasn't done anything wrong to you. The only thing that young man has done is to love your daughter. That's all. He hasn't done anything to you. Terminating my schooling. Destroying my future. And calling the VC of my school will not make me change my mind. I love Michael so much. And I can never change my decision. Is that so? All right. All right, we shall see. We shall see. What happened to you? We shall see. What is the meaning of this? Hey, get up, get up, get up. You wanna love, then you turn your back on me. What happened to you? What happened to you, Papa? What happened to the kid? Why should the king terminate everything on her? He stopped where she got allowances, and now he has called the vice chancellor to sack her from the school. What did she do? <laughs> if Anna stops supporting evil, ah, forget the fact that you and Nelly have close to the princess, but we must go a spade, a spade. Your father, who is a king and is well known in the society, said, I don't want this for now. And she's proven to be stubborn. Is that one fair? Let's be careful. We cannot be silly because we are privileged to come from a wealthy home and let it get into our head. Please, Ogi, stop saying nonsense about the princess. She is not proud. She's not stubborn or arrogant. If she's arrogant, why would she have this problem now she's having with her father? Mm -hmm. If she's proud, why would she be having anything to do with a roadside mechanic? Mm -hmm. Having pursued her degree in medicine. Please, let's don't blame her. He who wears the shoe knows where it pitches. Please. Mm -hmm. And the king said no. 
I don't want this. Why is it so hard for her to do? I wonder. Finish your school, get your certificate. Yes. Marriage is not running away. Okay. One thing I love about the king is that he made his word so open that we all know who is at fault here. Yes. As for me, my father is poor, but I can never disobey him if I want to get married tomorrow and he oppose it. So why will I be arguing over it? Why will I be arguing with him? There is no father or mother that will lead a child as trained. So why are we arguing over it? <laughs> and the next one is that she's pregnant. Was that one good too? I heard that too. <laughs> I'm not in support. She shouldn't have done it. That must probably be a mistake. Oh. Or they did it mm -hmm. to weaken the king. <laughs> but Chiru, what will be their fate? <laughs> now again, Aju, that's a very good question. put Jane in such situation. What, what, what are you talking about? Huh? What are you talking about? Hey, shut up and do not play smart with me. I did warn Jane about you, but I did not know the spell you used on her. Now she's doomed. She's into a situation and she does not even have anyone to run to. Do you know the situation you put her into? Huh? What situation? Did she tell you to speak for her? Did she run to you for help? What the? Don't you have to Shut up! Sorry, sorry. Shut up! Sorry, sorry. 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 Shut up. sorry. She has not gotten to this. Now go down. I told you. I warned you, right? I warned you, right? She has not gotten to this. Huh? I will blow off your head now. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Baby, I'm so sorry I'm making you go through all this. The worst is that my father has called the VC to terminate my education. I don't even know what to do now. I cannot lose that after so many years in school. Stop blaming yourself, you've done nothing. It's all my fault. Believe me, I'm the one who's putting you through all this. But I want you to know this. The best your father can do is to stop paying your bills and financing your education. He cannot stop you from going to class. So calm down. I am not okay because my father never understands. He doesn't want to listen to me. He doesn't want to calm down and listen to my own explanation. I don't know what I've done wrong to him. Nothing is happening to you, my love. Nothing. And you only fell in love with a poor, helpless guy who is still struggling to, you know, find his feet. And for that, I appreciate you so much. And I'll not take it for granted. Okay? I'll always love you. I promise you that. You've done nothing wrong. I love you too. I love you more. I love you more. I promise you I'll work hard, okay? Forget what your father is doing. You're an adult. I'm an adult. I'll work hard. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I take very good care of you and you'll not regret your decision. Okay? Thank you. Don't even say that. I said My it. baby looks like me. Even the father knows that. See Ronaldo. <laughs> what everybody is saying is right. 
But take a good look at her. Make good do no man a man. Baby looks like me. <laughs> okay. In that case, I think uh, she looks like her uncle. Like <laughs> uncle. You as well. My nose and my eyes. Hey, I'm going to go away. I'm going to go Mommy, I can't thank you enough for coming through. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. 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 So, Jane, you didn't thank me for coming. I don't have your time. I will not come again. <laughs> I don't have your time. Mom, I will not come again. I will not come again.